Okay, in today's video we're having a look at two um, controllers um, that I've um, just about finished uh, for an upcoming project. These are an EV700X controller, this one, and this is the horizontal um, or azimuth controller, which will be for an 1105, it'll be a matching set. Um, and I thought I'd take a bit of a quick run through with this um, of the upgrades that I've done and the things that I've uh, done to these uh, these controllers. I'll do a video later on um, regarding the uh, the rotators themselves, but today I just wanted to get out of the way the uh, the, con the actual controllers. Okay, the controllers, the EV700, this one little baby here, the EV700, it's not flaring out. Um, basically never had RS-232 out um, and basically um, yeah so you had to then uh, modify it to do remote control so in this um, video I'm showing the uh, what I've done to these um, I've given it um, remote control output um, hence the um, RS-232 the DIN plug coming out I've also put a um, an IAC cinch socket on the back and I've changed the plug to, um, sorry, that's an IEC plug, and then we've got this, I'll get it right in a minute, and we've got a, a new cinch plug here. Um, basically, I've added a transformer, because um, this transformer that it comes with never had one to drive the actual, the, um, the new PCB, or the uh, remote PCB. So basically, the board that's, oops, get the, right, the board that's normally in these is only a little small board, a standard board, um, the basic um, um, imitator um, controller board. So basically what I've had done, I'll just sit that down for now, is basically I have grabbed a um, controller from a 747 or the um, EV800X which uses the same one and basically then I, we modified it, I sent it off to a PC um, manufacturer and basically they have come up with a new board, this is a uh, the version 1.5 uh, there is a later version of this which has had a few changes but all the kinds of purposes is all the same thing so what I've done is normally um, I put this uh, buck booster here on the side of the controllers just here with a capacitor and a bridge rectifier and that gives me my fix it down in here to the right, right direction I've got an LED strip down there, 12 volts, and I've got an LED strip in the top. Um, so basically they run on 12 volts. So I normally put, used to put that um, buck booster. It's called a, um, if you can, I don't know if flaring out. It's a DC-DC uh, converter. And there's the part number. There we go. I get that from a local company here. And it will it will take any voltage in in DC from 8 to 35 volts or 34 volts, and give you 12 volts out in a very stable. The last thing you want is have um, LEDs flickering or rising in 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 brightness uh, as you're driving things. So basically, that's without the road, and we put all that circuitry on the board. We replace the transistors uh, with two relays. And this board will actually do AC or DC. This design will do AC or DC in the configuration of jumpers that I've got on, on the board. So basically, this one's been just configured for the AC version. Um, so basically, yeah, it, it's this is the replacement board, and uh, yeah, it's it's isolated um, by these HP 122s, uh, HP 1 and 2 here. And so, yeah, it's uh, the basic design of all up here in the top section, except for this part, is all basically from the uh, 747SR or the EV800X um, controller. We've just added a few bits, a few filters here and there, uh, and a few different components, but basically all in all, it's basically the same um, as the previous. Um, we've put, um, if you can't see, we've put uh, diodes across the, uh, across the relays um, the relays um, yes yeah so we've put all new terminal blocks on and these the main power up, up here this terminal block here the purple one this is the display one and that matches the normal display configuration so I can just change that straight in 
and uh, yeah so we're getting close to getting this all done um, here it is sitting on the board it mounts in the original it mounts in the original brackets um, and you know, there we go it's all in there it's all wired up uh, I've done a few tests on it it's working um, so now the next task is I've got to physically do the actual uh, the rotators I've already started on the uh, the EV700 elevation rotator so I'll just show you the other one as well this is just basically a, 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 a duplication so it's exactly the same thing uh, DIN socket out has the uh, the IC socket and the six pin cinch socket on the back of this um, so it's basically intent and purpose it's the same exactly the same as the other one except this one has a 360 display where this one has a dual display but what I've done, um, you probably can't set in the light because it won't make any difference anyway. So basically, I've put a cardboard cutout in white behind this. So when you turn the, the, the actual lights on, to stop flaring out, it'll only illuminate the elevation part of this. So yeah, um, that, that's where I'm up to on that. And as you can see, we have up and down on this one, and it has lock as well. And yeah, so it's uh, yeah, this is all um, happening. So just sort of give you a quick run through of these it, and the board. I'll probably do a new video of the the actual later board, um, which will do both because I have another set coming up, which is a uh, a DC version of these. It's an EV 780, um, um, and it's running probably be running a, around about 1200 rotator. Um, and the EV780 and then the DC configuration using the same board um, the, 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 um, the later version board which hasn't got here yet so that's a project up and coming so enough talky talky I shall um, leave it there um, what else I've done with these things um, everything has been uh, I've refurbished everything I've refurbished the pot I've um, put a brand new belt in which I supply um, it's all been realigned uh, as the LEDs are in there um, pots have all been done um, yeah. so it, it's a, I redid the, um, the micro switches in here they've all been rewired um, and everything so I think there's enough uh, for this video it's only a short one uh, and then we'll get on, I'll put this around this way around, that might be a good idea, stick it that way around. So you can see the front and the back, we might do that, might be a good um, um, front page thing. Um, okay, um, I think that's enough, um, okay, I shall catch you in the next video, hopefully with the, um, the rotators going together, and, um, and then we'll have another one after that from working. Catch you later, bye.